Hi guys, welcome back to Gian channel. My name is Gina and today this video will talk about uh, mutual fund. So, kung nanonood kayo nitong video na to, please subscribe bago kayo umalis dahil wala pa akong subscriber and share na rin. So, ito yung pinaka first na video ko dito sa mutual fund dito sa Philippine Stock Exchange natin dito sa Pilipinas kasi madalas yung mga video ko na lumalabas ay forex. Yung ina-apply namin sa Forex is Elliott Wave. So, ngayon, um, dahil uh, parang one week na, ay wala pa rin akong update kasi masama ang pakiramdam ko. Actually, today, nahinginig ang katawan ko. So, pinipilit ko na makagawa ng episode na to. So, dahil uh, mayroon kang savings, habang may active income ka. So, dapat may passive income tayo. So, yung active income tayo kapag ano, current uh, employed tayo sa ano, kung meron tayong mga, kung nagtatrabaho tayo sa labas. So, ito namang passive income, ito naman yung investment natin. So, di ba mas maganda habang nagtatrabaho tayo sa iba, ay dapat meron tayong passive income. So, dito tayo sa, dito natin yan matatagpuan sa mutual fund. So, sana mag-subscribe na rin kayo sa video na to, sa channel na to, dahil marami pa akong mga video na dapat i-share sa inyo. Dahil dito sa, ano, dito sa bansa natin sa Pilipinas ay 0.7% pa lang ang mga Pilipino na nag invest dito sa stock market. So, save and invest. Saan ba safe ilagay o ipagkatiwala ang pera mo? Merong kasabihan, sabi, The people nearest to us, that's the people hurt us the most. Money is in relative. The more money you have, the more relative you have. So, oras na para mag-save at mag-invest. Dahil pag wala kang pera, wala ka ng pamilya. So, yun ang kadalasan na nangyayari. Although, hindi lahat. Pero, mayroong mga sitwasyon na, na nangyayari talaga. So, yun, yung mga tao na uh, gusto nila makiride sa success ng iba. Kasi ayaw nila magtrabaho. Dahil yung tinitingnan lang nila at, naka, at nakadepende lang sila doon sa success ng iba. Save money and invest despite the finan financial struggles. Kahit na maliit lang ang ating mga sweldo, uh, dapat uh, na ay gamay nga gisangit maliban sa protection like healthcare. Kasi hindi habang buhay tayo ay nagtatrabaho sa iba dahil yun naman ang gusto natin, di ba? So, hika nga, um, we work for money. So, why don't you save for future? So, that is investment. So, don't copy the model. Copy the principle how to save and make it habit. Kung magkano ang kaya mo i-save, at least 10 per, 10, uh, 5 to 10% of your salary. Si kaya mo nga bilhin yung beer eh. Yung one bucket ba yun? Yung isang bucket ng beer kapag nagsisweldo na, di ba? So, yung iinom mo ng beer is ano mo na lang yun? I-save mo na lang yun para makapag-invest ka. So, mamaya ay makikita natin kung magkaano ang um, minimum ng investment sa mutual fund. are the mutual fund? Mutual funds are professionally managed investment products that pull together the assets of various investors. They pull the funds are invested in different 
asset classes such as equity, real estate, bond funds, and mixed income, um, fixed income securities. These are the different types of mutual funds that match the investors' financial goals and risk profile. Fund managers working as investment advisors have the full discretion and freedom to select the security composition of the fund but within the regulation of the SEC. So what are the types of mutual funds? So we have equity fund. It share of various company listed on the stock exchange. So it is long term and five years with high risk and high return. And we have is balance fund. That is medium term, three to five years, moderate and minim minimal return. So it is combination of the fixed income such as government and corporate debt. And we have bond, bond funds. So it is short term, one to three years, moderate risk and minimal return. So bond funds are fixed income instruments such as government and corporate debts and securities. So the last, okay, so we have uh, index fund. It is long term, five years, high risk and high return. It is share of uh, companies that uh, compress the PS Philippine Stock Exchange Index. And the last one is money market fund, short term, minimal risk and minimal return. So it is government and corporation securities, including the time deposit and special uh, savings account. Diyan nilalagay ni fund manager yung pera na ininvest mo sa mutual fund. So now we have here the list of mutual fund. So you can see now that merong 5,000, merong 1,000. So ayan, tapos makikita mo ito yung additional uh, contribution. But this is not necessarily dahil you already have this minimum deposit. So, kunyari, itong 5,000. So, um, 1,000 yung monthly. So, as I've said, it's not necessary. Then, how do I invest in mutual fund? So, mutual fund is buying share is issued by the funds based on prevailing net asset pair value. So, its share represents a portion of an investor holding in the fund like redemption is done by selling the shares back to the fund using the latest nouns. So, example, this is the Sun Life Band. So, the contribution is 1,000. Kung gusto mong dagdagan, kung gusto ka mag-add on sa yung investment, so, it is 1,000 monthly. But again, it's not necessary. Pero kung gusto mong dagdagan para mas malaki ang kikitain mo, so, mas mabuti. Kasi mas, kung mas malaki ang kapital, mas malaki ang kikitain. So, management fee is uh, the, it, it is 1.1%. Uh, it is the compensation given to the investment manager of mutual fund. This fee is based on the total value asset under the management of a fund. So, itong dito sa front end fee is, zero. 
So we have also that front load or uh, share load. So meaning the sales is commission, which is a percentage of the initial investment of uh, change upon subscribing or buying share of a mutual fund. Pero depende yan sa fund manager kung free o hindi. So yan makikita natin na free, di ba? Then sa ano sa minimum holding period is 180 days. So dapat 180 days ay i-redeem mo yan. So, free yan. But if you wanted to early redemption, you will charge 1.112%. 1 1.12%. 1 um, so, dapat hintayin mo na umabot siya ng 180 days para uh, wala kang, hindi ka mag-charge. So, ayan. And, what's next? So, paano natin i-calculate the purchase per share? So, ayan. Um, kunyari, uh, yung share is 500, tapos yung net asset uh, value per share is uh, 10.1234. Tapos, yung market value niya is 5,061.70. Tapos, i-minus natin yung capital na 1,000. So, yung gain mo is 4,061.7. Kung sabang ko natin nilagay yung pera natin, magkakaroon ba tayo ng malaking income? Diba, centavos lang yung ibibigay ng bangko sa atin. At kung hindi tayo makapag-deposit ng isang taon, may tendency na mawawala yung pera natin na nilagay sa bangko. So, parang monthly, monthly ay mababawasan ng 300 pesos yung pera hanggang sa maubos yun. Unti-unting kukunin yan ng bangko yung pera mo kapag hindi ka active na nag-deposit. So, mas mabuti na ilagay mo na lang yung pera mo doon sa alam mo na secured yung money mo. So, doon lang natin ilagay sa mga uh, mga malalaking company dito sa Pilipinas. So, meron tayong tinatawag na action and reaction. Yung, re yung action ay pataas, yung reaction naman ay pababa. So, kapag gano'n na nangyari na bumaba ang market, hindi ibig sabihin na magtatagal yan sa baba. So, ang gagawin mo lang is let your money stay for long term in mutual fund. So, let your money work for you while you are working for money. Take action today dahil walang uh, yumayaman sa hindi nagsisave at nag-invest. Uh, Maari ba tayo malosin sa mutual fund? Yes, pwede tayo malosin. But this is, not, this is only a paper. So, ang kailangan mo kailangan mo gawin ay maghintay kung kailan mag-bounce back yung nag ng mutual fund. So, kunyari, uh, ito, uh, yung share mo na nabili, uh, let's say, um, as of this year, 2018. So, yung share mo na nabili is 500, tapos, Yung NABS is 5.1234. So, makikita naman natin na mas malaki dito, ba? So, yung total market value is 2,561.7. Tapos, i-less natin yung capital na 1,000. So, yung gain mo is 1,561.7. Pero, actually, hindi ka pa losing kasi yung capital mo is 1,000 lang, ba? So, may kita ka pa rin na 1,561.7. Um, so, ayan. Um, kung, kasi actually, na, every investor, nararanasan talaga na malugi. But it doesn't mean na kapag nakita mo na yung presyo na bumaba, ay hindi ibig sabihin na losing ka na. So, ang gagawin mo lang talaga, as I've said, is 
you have to wait when that price is bounced back. So, yun lang ang gagawin mo. 